CPC, Steve here, Flipside CT. Glad to see you. Um, thanks for joining me. And my last video, I showed some uh, a tour of Providence, Rhode Island, some record stores, and also a New London store, Telegraph, and uh, had some fun and um, a show and a couple other stores. So uh, hopefully you check that out. So. Uh, this week is my Cromwell, Connecticut record show uh, video, which was several weeks ago. I had the opportunity to meet Bill Helmut Diggy um, from Connecticut and also Brandon. Uh, Bill is uh, an avid VC member, started posting, so check him out. Uh, really great guy, loves his Blackmore, Rainbow, and uh, Kiss, and uh, um, looks like he had some fun first time at, the, at a show, so uh, he dug into the wallet it looks like and uh, did what he had to do. Um, so it was great meeting him. Hopefully we'll meet up again soon. And Brandon brought his wife. Uh, Brandon is Vinyl Patrol. Uh, great that a wife can go with you to a show um, and and <laughs> not roll their eyes. So uh, um, that's really great and wonderful. So I'm sure she uh, picked something up from for Christmas. But um, I'm sure also Brandon had to pay the price later and carry some bags for her when she went. So anyway, uh, from my show, that's what this is. Um, and uh, I'm going to jump right into it. First band is Translator, a band from L.A., their first album. Very Beatlesque, Doors-ish, uh, post-punk, uh, 1982-ish, I believe. And um, just... You know, it, it's good. It's good. Good rock. Good, uh, you know, poppy stuff here. Um, This is 1972, so it captures some early stuff, which is really cool when you listen to Steve Miller's st early stuff. Again, like a seer, you listen to that early stuff and you're blown away. Uh, and then you also hear him developing into his, you know, real pop world, you know, in, in this uh, this type of album. Uh, some dollar picks. Oh, I did go in early. Also, I did get a few albums. Uh, uh, the early early bird, uh, but also some you know dollar albums, uh, two dollar albums. Guitar Country, Chet Atkins. Um, this was a few dollars. It's Johnny Winter Before the Storm, uh, a comp album of pre before he went to Columbia. Um, some of his songs, some really good good ones in here. Some of the recordings and some others aren't so great. That's what people are a little po'd about. But this is like 1972, I think. He actually has red eyes, not blue, because uh, he is the albino. So uh, I don't know why they put blue on there. Roy Buchanan, this is a promo, You're Not Alone. This is 1978. Playing the uh, Les Paul here. Uh, usually plays the, uh, the Fender. This is really similar to like Wired from Beck. Uh, you know, I put it right up there. He's just a great guitarist, instrumental album. Jerry meets Spencer and the Children from Fleetwood Mac. This is his second one, I believe. Is uh, went a little uh, religious on this. He has a lot of uh, lyrics devoted to that, but still has that little different uh, bluesy songs in here. Um, 1972, Tangerine Dream, uh, Stratosphere. Just a cool album I wanted from Tangerine Dream. I like their earlier stuff, 1976. Okay, this album I found at a really good price uh, after checking. Um, oh, it's a 1977 album from England, punk. Uh, in the heart of it, when it was really happening, they didn't get the recognition they should have. A lot of hardcore folks, when I mean hardcore, I mean people who... In 1976, 1977, those really early punk bands knew about them. Uh, this is called uh, Wire Band. Pink Flag is the album. Take a one drop sound, becoming quicker, lights go dim. They came out the chance, it's more of the odds of same One of those, one of these albums are like uh, the, 
one of the albums you have to hear um, or top 1,000 albums uh, so it's uh, it's uh, 1977 it's really represents the period of time back then um, very cool to have for my collection Jack Green um, this is human-esque he uh, played with um, uh, the Pretty Things, and the Silk per, uh, Torpedo, the set mid seventies. He played with uh, T Rex a little bit, you know, later stuff. Um, and Richie Blackmore had him play for a couple weeks. So Richie Mac Blackmore actually plays on this album, um, it's from the eighties. Total eighty sounds. Uh, it's okay. Uh, this album is called Spartacus. The band is Triumvirat. T-R-I-U-M-V-I-R-I-T, -I -I a German band. This is from 75. I'm sure prog rock guys know this band. Uh, those of you who don't, give them a listen. Check them out. Uh, Dallas, if you haven't heard these guys, listen to them. Right in there with ELP. Some people even say, say saying, you know, better uh, in a Genesis, but really fun. I really enjoyed the sounds of this album. <laughs> Self-destruction uh, destruction blues from the uh, mid '80s. Um, just good, straightforward, good rock, hard band from Finland. I enjoy these guys, uh, and um, yeah, I'm just drawing a blank with the lead singer's name. Good God, um, he's playing with Steve Conti. Has new albums out. Anyway, check out Hanoi Rocks. This album is, is good. Some people say it's the best. Some people say it's the worst. Whatever. Good straight rock and roll. Um, appreciate that. All right, this next band. I'm going to let you hear a song. Listen. Garage punk, garage music, whatever you want to call it. Just all around cool. Um, they had one or two singles, but they had live uh, music stashed away. In 2003, this album came out. It's a mono pressing, Sundays, just cool stuff. I'm not so fond of them having butts and cigarettes in their mouths. Um, you know, it is what it is for that age, that period. Um, but uh, one of the guys, uh, Tim Allen, I know you talked about Tony O'K. Okay. That's one of the guys in this band. He went on from here onto, the, onto that, but good stuff. Leon Russell, Corny. Anybody rock and roll has got to have a Leon Russell or two album in there at least. Uh, band of Ryan Rocks, I know you showed this. Stone Ponies, Miss, Miss Linda. Um, this is some early Linda. Here's another early uh, album from Linda. Um, this is Don't Cry Now. It's got Desperado on it. Um, fun. Okay, so I saw this uh, one album and I started asking questions and um, I'm so glad I did. But I'm first going to say Lou Reed uh, had an album put out in 1972-73 sort of a concept album. The album was called Berlin and sort of a rock opera and it talks about Jim and Caroline and it addresses, you know, the drug use, the prostitution um, and depression, domestic violence and, you know, suicide, 
pretty deep, deep stuff. Folks didn't like it. Uh, lyrically, I, I'm into the guitars, and then I listen to the lyrics. Okay, it's Lou. He, he was a, you know, some type of period, but uh, it, people now, 30, you know, said many years later, are just saying it's, it's one of these classic albums. Um, so, the reason why I show this is because this live album was for 20 bucks, Lou Reed in Berlin. Uh, singing Berlin uh, at St. Anne's Warehouse in Brooklyn, New York. Um, this is covering the whole entire album, and he has, of course, a uh, great backup band. Dick Wagner, who's on the original album, is also on here, along with some great other artists who he pulled together. So the sound is just phenomenal. The great thing about Lou is he made a lot of space, and... Um, that's what you get to, you know, you get to really enjoy the vocals when you hear that uh, and the guitars. But this is just a great album, uh, you know, cover to cover here, side to side. Sweet Jane is on it also. A nice thick album. A little sheet in here. Um, has Steve Hunter. It has, uh, you know, some top, top artists in here. I'm not going to go through them all. It has a chorus actually in here, but... So it seems, Caroline says. Ah, oh, Caroline says. She says she doesn't want a man who... If you could find this, pick it up if you're a Lou fan. Rory Gallagher Jinx. Again, finishing up uh, my Rory. This one has a single in it, Defender. Uh, from the 80s, not his best stuff, but still, I gotta finish up. Getting there early, I was able to get this from my friend Mike. Ramones, Brain Drain, 1989. Uh, Pet Cemetery's on here. I think their 11th album. So it's getting a little late with them here. But this was really cool to find. I'm really happy I got that. Iggy's uh, Blah 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 album. You know, Real Wild Child and uh, Cry for Love, Hide Away. Just a few bucks. What I think the best Genesis album, Foxtrot. This is just a regular uh, album, no, no gatefold. Really good album. All right. Next week I'm going to show some uh, flea market finds and eventually some store finds. Uh, getting something through the mail. A really cool album. So check everything out. Uh, thanks, new vinylists, uh, watchers, subscribers, whatever. Uh, keep keep your videos coming. Talk to you soon.